So I think we're gonna. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, we ain't even needed to do this outside. God. We're Megan and RJ, and we're currently in the country of Iceland, driving the ring road in our Marco Polo camper van for two incredible weeks. But we thought it would be fun to take a little time from exploring Iceland's dramatic scenery and do a little taste test of the country's unique snack foods. So we stopped at a grocery store and loaded up on a variety of snacks that seemed totally foreign to us. Um, so we figured we'd start from maybe best to worst. <laughs> In our mind. <laughs> uh, we may be surprised by some of these. We figured we would start with a pretty typical drink uh, called Appelsen. This is uh, something you find all over Iceland. It's pretty much everywhere. But one of the things that we read is to try Appelsen with black licorice straws. So you want to... I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, she's right. going to do the inaugural taste test. I'm sure it probably just tastes like Appleson. Yeah. I don't even taste the licorice. Uh, one thing to point out, I hate licorice. And I'm more indifferent to black licorice. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it just tastes like really sweet uh, orange soda, although yeah, it does smell, smell like, like black mm -hmm. licorice. So I'm wondering if we shouldn't take a sip and then take a bite and kind of chew it up and swallow it all together so that's what I'm gonna do yeah I know yeah it's not a strong black licorice flavor it has some black licorice flavor but it's not pleasant mm, I don't like it, it, it <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest it, uh, it's kind of like eating a rubber tire it's very hard <laughs> I'm not thinking we're gonna continue on with the black licorice, but the reason we started was so that uh, we could have the Appleson on the side <laughs> just in case uh, further taste test stuff didn't agree with us, we'd have something to wash it down with. So we're gonna leave that right here and that's gonna... Uh... <laughs> All right, next up uh, we have paprika flavored tortilla chips. Um, paprika seems to be a very common seasoning. Um, I see it on a lot of their chips. So I don't know if in Icelandic that just means spicy <laughs> or if it's literally just paprika flavor, which to me doesn't really, yeah, have, doesn't a really strong, have a strong flavor. No. Strong flavor. They taste like Doritos to me. Yeah, they they're are good. good. They're really good. I like them. Yeah. These are good. They're tasty. I could eat this whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I guess we'll, we'll stay on the chip wagon for right now. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Medicine. Yeah. It's a party bag. Yeah. It's a party mix of chip. It kind of reminded me of like Chex Mix, so I thought it would be interesting to, to try. Oh, and the flavor is just salt and pepper, which is another really common flavor of different chips that we saw. Texture reminds me of something. Um, it reminds me of those. Uh, oh, uh, the the veggie straws. Yeah, veggie yeah. straw type. Yeah, I don't get like a seasoning flavor. It needs more pepper. They're good. No, I could totally see eating yeah, eating these. They are good. They're good snack. All right, now we're moving on to. Andy. Or should we do? Oh, here, maybe not. What we'll do? How about skier? Okay. This is gonna be a no-brainer. We already know we're mm. gonna like this. One of the flavors that was suggested to try is creme brulee skier. Uh, skier is actually a type of cheese, but it's uh, very similar to yogurt uh, in consistency. It's kind of a somewhere between a custard and a yogurt. They come in uh, kind of a variety of different flavors. I don't know how you could call it creme brulee and not have the sugar coating top. It's like creme brulee without the creme brulee. <laughs> I'm surprised we don't have like little sugar crystals that you can sprinkle on top yeah. to give that idea. Million dollar idea right there. <laughs> We're just just giving them away, guys. Just giving them away. <laughs> I don't know if it tastes like creme brulee to me. It's it's no. just sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. It definitely has it has a little bit of a tangy. Yeah. As you would expect from a like a yogurt. Yeah, it tastes to me like vanilla Greek yogurt. It's good. It's very good. Yeah. All right, now, now we'll, we'll move on onto the candy. 
And that's only because some of the other stuff we just want to put off until as long as possible. <laughs> Maybe we're doing this all wrong. Maybe we should be eating that stuff first and then wash it down with the candy. Uh. Although, for all we know, these could be like chocolate covered black licorice candies. Well, we, we do. We do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> The texture on this label yeah. <laughs> looks really good. Yeah. And then it looks like it has toffee bits in it, and I'm a fan of toffee. Yeah. So. So, yeah, I'm not worried about this one not tasting no, good. No, me neither. Mm -hmm. mm. The texture is really good. That is, oh my lord. Wow. That is addicting. <laughs> oh wow. Mm. So I'm a big fan of texture. In, in candy bars, um, especially. I don't really get a huge flavor of toffee. See, I did with the first one. Mm. But yeah, that one tasted more like, maybe you need to try a smaller one. Because <laughs> mine was a little smaller than yours. Maybe I just need to try some more. It's yeah. good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, mm. these are... Oh. All right, moving on. Reese Buff. Yeah, so... This actually, I think, does have like the rice crispies in it, um, and then it has like this marshmallow cream, and then it's all covered in chocolate. You know, we have a can, uh, uh, like a cookie candy. I believe it's from Little Debbie. Uh, yeah, I think Star so too. Crunch or yes. Star Star yeah. something. Uh, they're a little bit bigger and rounder, I believe. I used to love them when I was a kid. I haven't had them in but they look very similar to this. And I, I used to love them when I was a kid, so we'll give them a try. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm, I was expecting texture-wise. <laughs> it's kind of rich. These are exceptionally rich. Um, I was expecting them to be crunchier with yeah. the Rice Krispie Treats. They are very chewy, uh, mm -hmm. and it's like this marshmallow Goo. I don't know yeah. how, how else do you describe it. Yeah. It's very soft and it gets caught in your teeth really easily. It tastes good, <laughs> but it is very rich. Yeah. It is. I don't know if I could have more than one of these because I can't either. Yeah. I don't even know if the, I can finish. The amount of one. effort it takes to eat these are yeah. kind of surprising. Yeah. I actually don't want to finish this one. I wouldn't say I hate it, but. Mm -hmm. All right, and our last candy is obviously we're not gonna like it because it's black licorice, but we're still gonna try it. Chocolate covered black licorice. Okay. Little shocked by the name, not gonna lie. Um, it's kind of a derogatory term in uh, the United States, uh, and especially with them being black licorice candy. What the hell, Iceland? I mean, come on, man. But uh, we're still gonna try it. I have no clue the consistency of the center of the like yeah. the licorice. Is it a hard licorice or is it a like the? I hope it's not like the marshmallow because <laughs> I do not want this stuck in my teeth. Ah! Okay. Here we yeah. go. Oh. What? I was expecting black. There's no black. <laughs> ah. I don't taste licorice. No, not at all. It has like something. It doesn't smell like licorice. It smells like milk chocolate. Huh. It's got yeah. something chewy in the center. Well, maybe we're totally mistaken what exactly it is with licorice pieces. So it's got caramel and licorice pieces. As far as I can caramel. tell. <laughs> hmm. Not terrible, but it's got... Yeah. It does have... I think it does have a weird licorice e flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Not our favorite. Alright, now we move on to some unknowns. Yeah, for some sure, some unknowns. This sounds good to me. This does. I don't I'm not worried about this. <laughs> this is like pepperoni sticks, but with lamb. Yeah. So um, yeah basically like lamb jerky. Yeah. Woo! Strong meat smell. Wow. Oh yeah. That just hits you. All right. I'm dive on in. Oh, they're hard. Mm. Mm. 
more of a jerky texture. Yeah. It's good, good Just flavor. tastes like mm -hmm. dried cured meat. Yeah, it's mm. good. These are delicious. I like them. Good snack for a road trip. Yeah, it even fits in your cup holder too. Yeah, packaging is. Genius. All right, now we move on to the more unknown stuff. And I guess we are trying um, Icelandic flatbread uh, with hengia leg, mm -hmm. which is lamb. It's basically like uh, sliced lamb, almost like you buy deli meat. And uh, I guess you roll it or wrap it up with uh, Icelandic flatbread and that's how they eat it. And I guess it's pretty popular, right? I think so. Yeah, I think this is a traditional Icelandic snack. Yeah. I gotta say, the flatbread seems a little dry. Oh, you <laughs> want to make a strike. Yep. I taste more flatbread. <laughs> well. And it's burnt. Uh, it's got a, a charred flavor to it. It's not bad. Yeah, I can't really say I tasted the lamb at all. Yeah. It's, I wonder, should we just try the lamb by itself? Sure. Yeah. So, in all fairness, we'll go ahead and sample some of the lamb, me. which to me just looks like deli ham. Yeah. It smells, honestly, it smells kind of like ham. It's not as rich as ham. Yeah. I'd say, like, it's this has. It's very subtle. It's, Super subtle. There's, like, no flavor. It's salty. Mm hmm. Uh, it's very, very, very mild. Uh, yeah. No wonder we couldn't taste it compared yeah. to the bread. <laughs> it doesn't have its own distinct flavor like mm -hmm. a like a ham or a roast beef or pastrami. It's kind of just more there, like a mm -hmm. like a plain chicken breast would be. Um, <laughs> it's not terrible. I'm, I'm making it sound worse than it is. It's good. Okay, I'm dreading this next one. Yeah, and I'm sure you've seen it. You've been staring at it and waiting for us to get to it and we've saved it pretty much for last because we're afraid of it. Um, fish jerky. What the hell, Iceland? Fish jerky? Come on, man. I guess because we're in Iceland, the traditional way to have it is with butter. They used to eat it like- Like bread. Like, like toast. how we have bread and butter. Um, they didn't, it wasn't as easy for them to make bread, so they used this as their bread. So I think and we're gonna... Butter. Oh my god! Oh, 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 we may have <laughs> needed to do this outside. God. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh man. So we're... <laughs> Cod, so <laughs> it clears a room like a stank ass fart. Yeah. It's immediate too. It is pungent. Oh man, yeah, we're gonna have to open the door after this because. Uh, oh, oh, so man. to wash it down, we're gonna do it some Brennivin. <laughs> Brennivin is uh, an Icelandic flavored spirit. It's not like vodka. Vodka is an unflavored spirit. This is a uh, flavored spirit and I believe it's cumin and caraway, caraway which is supposed to give it a black licorice flavor mm -hmm. and apparently there's a lot of Icelanders who would strongly disagree. Supposedly that's what the flavor profile is supposed to be so you can either have it in a cocktail or uh, it's also just fine to drink. Yeah straight and chilled we're not gonna spread it on we're just gonna kind of dip it like you would hummus you know what i'm doing it like that yeah <laughs> and i think i'm gonna do a lot of butter i won't you're, okay. oh you're you're brave no i'm no we're loading that oh up. my god it stinks so bad <laughs> it does not smell pleasant all right you ready yeah and then the you ready garbage. So hard. Okay, it's not as bad as it smells. There's no flavor. It's salty. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. The fish taste is starting to hit me now. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wash this down. Huh? Um, the nickname for this is also the Black Death. 
so uh, yeah. Uh oh. I'm not a shots kind of girl, so this one's even gonna be hard for me. <laughs> Ooh! I get the I get the caraway afterwards. Yeah. No. It doesn't taste like black licorice, it tastes like rye bread. No, it doesn't taste like black licorice, for sure. Okay. So it's not horrible. It definitely, it definitely, definitely washes that fish taste out of your mouth. So, uh, don't hate us, but that was the worst for sure. Yeah, we, for we, sure. we. <clears throat> Goodbye. Let's go. Uh, do I you have do to? It. Yeah. <laughs> oh damn! She drank the whole thing. <laughs> now you know why they call it the Black Death. Okay, well this is the extra credit round. This doesn't really count as a taste test because we've technically already had each of them. Each of them. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. These will help wash that that flavor yeah, down. Well, mm -hmm. well, do we have a favorite? Mm, yeah, do we have a favorite out of all the candies? I'd say these were definitely a winner, clear winner. Yeah. The paprika chips, also these. The, yeah. yeah. The lamb sticks are really good, and the skewer. That one was another good yeah, one too. Yeah, the skewer. All right, that concludes our taste test of our researched Iceland foods. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed our reaction. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't know if anything we're doing right now is traditional. So if there's anybody Icelandic watching this and criticizing us for being foolish, uh, this is just stuff that we've either read online through our own research or maybe something we found in the store that we wanted to try. So maybe we're totally off on this, but Right, salty. Uh, or is that I don't made, know. <laughs> made of salt and pepper? <laughs> Medium. No, oh, we're so screwing up here. That's much better than black licorice. <laughs> yeah. Iceland. I don't know what your obsession with black licorice is, but it is. Uh, <laughs> there's a whole world of flavors out there. You guys need to try. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're being a little too sensitive, but you kind of. Oh. Yeah. yeah it, it'll, it later. it'll melt. It'll be along with that black licorice straw. <laughs> Just throwing black licorice. You get black licorice. You get black licorice. Everybody gets black licorice. Uh, Here we yeah. go. Okay. Ready? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of the old uh, Slim Jim. You know, I want to see the Icelandic macho man Randy Savage. You know. Ooh, brother, snap it to a Slim Jim. <laughs> but I, I want it in Icelandic. I can't open this. Oh, that's why. <coughs> we could be totally wrong. We could be eating a certain part of the lamb. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm like picking the, the fish jerky out of my teeth oh. and it's like I'm getting the leftover flavor and trying oh. to get it out. It's, oh, it is awful. <laughs>